has just faded out this morning. Uh, how are you? My name is Derevai. anymore for you we had asked you the freedoms you're celebrating at this particular time and you're saying we still do not have a freedom and has just said uh it's not yet freedom but anyway it's because of uh the things that have been happening and of course now we are speaking of the covid 19 it has denied us our freedom of movement our freedom of socializing we no longer go to social is we can't gather um, more than 15 people in a place unless you be arrested or better still you will get COVID-19 if one of you happens to have it and this had, has had an impact on almost each and every person in the society from the urban centers to the rural areas and everyone is suffering kind of we need that freedom we need to move we need to do things freely but because of COVID-19 we cannot do that actually we are more uh, more than a thousand uh, confirmed cases in our country and it's sickening to know we we can't do things like we used to do and this uh, morning and right about now we want to speak about a spiritual health and a spirituality and spirit could have different meaning on different or many people across different cultures and broadly it's just the uh, person's uh, ability or the things that you have to define uh, is very hard to know the spirit and spirituality but here is true emotions and uh, the sense of belonging on things places to pastor what is it all about what do we need to know? Send in your comments or questions to all our social media platforms, Y254 channel on Facebook and Instagram at Y254 channel on Twitter. Good morning and welcome. How are you? Uh, fine. Happy uh, Madaraka Day. Happy Madaraka Day too. What are you celebrating um, this Madaraka Day? Thank God because of life, mm -hmm. though not that easy. First of all, I want to greet my viewers and uh, tell them Happy Madaraka Day. Uh, although it has come at a different way, not as usual. Mm -hmm. And all this has been caused by COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Also, I want to greet my wife, uh, who is Faith Magdalene, wherever she is. She's very intercessor, she's powerful intercessor, and praying for us. Mm -hmm. So I want to also greet uh, the viewers, the whole Kenya, and uh, maybe to tell them things will be okay. Mm -hmm. However tough it might be, but things will be okay very soon. Mm -hmm. I know people are praying and also praying for our country, mm -hmm. and also people are praying for the whole world. Mm -hmm. Personally, as Pastor Mangeta, I know, very soon things will come to normal. Mm -hmm. So that has no any worry. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever has the beginning has the end. Mm -hmm. COVID-19 is just a name, but Jesus is above all names. Sure. And I'm sure it has been a, a pronoun that is a very, very crucial, and it has also denied our rights, mm -hmm. especially people are affected. And I'm sure when um, the church is affected, the church is backbone for everything. Because we cannot do physically, but we normally do it spiritually. Mm -hmm. So the church is seriously affected. Um, and I'm praying about that uh, wherever they are maybe viewing for me, mm -hmm. any kind of prayer that is made, mm -hmm. let believers not lose hope. Things will be just okay very soon. Me, mm -hmm. I believe that. All right. I, I, uh, I love uh, the faith in that. Now, COVID-19 has had an impact to most of the families yes. and most of the persons. Yes. And since it is affecting human, it is affecting our way of life, our sense of belonging. There have been cases of gender-based violences yes. because people are back home. You don't have money. This is your family. They need to eat. They need to be sheltered. People have, dif uh, have difficulties in paying their rents. At si such a particular time now, how, do, how can now one find their sense of belonging in the little things they can do? And then how can we now embrace each other even during this pandemic? Yeah, Hilary, thank you for also expressing that. One thing that I know, government, they have their own role that they are doing for the families and also the communities. Mm -hmm. And also have some organization also they are doing it which is very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, personally, on my views, mm -hmm. what I can say, they could also have allowed church 
to participate in this fully because government they will do it but the church also must need their members in a different way and also candle them people are really mentally disturbed people are frustrated if you lack job and if you lack money you lack everything rain is frustrating you mm -hmm. what will be next we have been hearing about cases people are frustrated um, a wife and a husband are quarreling mm -hmm. they are fighting mm -hmm. gender violence has really gone high mm -hmm. and definitely if you lack money and you lack food and you lack everything that you need basic those are basic necessaries if you lack them definitely what will be next there will be no peace. Mm -hmm. Now, the church has lacked something to do in this community. During this COVID-19, mm -hmm. pastor is silent in their houses, mm -hmm. and the church members are also silent wherever they are. Communication, they can talk that maybe we can talk through internet, we can talk through phone. Do you know that we have some church members, mm -hmm. even they don't have internet, they don't have smartphones. We mm -hmm. have some also church members who cannot even access phones. In fact, even some, they have their phones and they cannot even uh, have great even to call their pastors. Mm -hmm. And even pastor has no even great to call their, the church members. Mm -hmm. So what I could maybe suggest personally to the government, if they can, the very obedient people in this world, I think it's the church. The church is the most obedient people and they follow instructions. According to Romans chapter 13, verse one, the Bible says, mm -hmm. obey the law because it is ordained by the Lord. Mm -hmm. Any authority given and any power given, according to the Bible, mm -hmm. we obey it, mm -hmm. we submit under it because it is godly. But now what the government has done, they have isolated the church. Mm -hmm. They have put pastors aside. I think I remember very well, the time COVID-19 was starting, there are nothing to be mentioned like pastor, nothing was mentioned like a church. It's like a, they were really, they didn't want to hear about pastors. But now, right now, where things are going and where things are heading to, mm -hmm. the government will come back to the church. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuring you, if the things will continue the way they are continuing, mm -hmm. you will hear President himself, or you will hear whoever is in the leadership, mm -hmm. urging the pastors to pray for the nation. Mm -hmm. Because they started and they isolated the church. Now the time is coming that uh, they need the pastors to intervene. Mm -hmm. uh, the pastor is the key person who can meet the, uh, the, that, the the last person in the community. Pastor knows their names. And re re remember, Hillary, every community has a pastor. Mm -hmm. And the pastor has congregants. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, where the MCAs, where the MPs, where the governors cannot even do, they cannot even reach them. Mm -hmm. And we as pastors, me as pastor among it, I know my church members. I know their weaknesses. Mm -hmm. There is someone that is in my church, even if cannot be maintained by spiritual food, will suffer. So the government has lacked several things. Government has lacked uh, employment, mm -hmm. and the government also is lacking now uh, the, the, the proper structure plans to feed the government, mm -hmm. uh, to feed the, uh, the whole country, whereby I'm 100% sure this food they are distributing, some food will not even reach to the, mm -hmm. on, the, on the ground to the people. But Pastor, the question of gender-based violence, it's basically on the people themselves, on how yes. they feel, the emotions, mm -hmm. their feelings, on mm -hmm. uh, they are not able to meet this and that. Now, maybe if you could uh, tell me how will the church help these particular pastors? Uh, I don't know, uh, maybe in the, you're, not, you're no longer doing the pastor in the communities. Yes. How, how would the church help these uh, particular pastors who are uh, suffering from gender-based violence at par such a particular time? Now, Hillary, you're asking a very good question. First of all, before reaching to this person, you can't just say that, how will you help? The first thing you have to reach them. And remember just uh, some past days, cases on media, uh, 15 people are gathering and the government arrested. Y you see, uh, even two people I heard about uh, three elders when just in the church, three. Mm -hmm. And also the government came and uh, arrested. And I heard also about a pastor who was in the house. I think it was just a home fellowship. Mm -hmm. Also they were arrested. So it, it has become so hard, even pastor reaching their church members and candling them. Mm -hmm. Even if you meet a few, however you might be, you find challenges will arise still. Mm -hmm. And that's why you have come with a very good question, and I can just maybe urge the government, 
with all the authority that they have. They have also to measure and see the church has also something role to play in the community. Mm -hmm. And this uh, gender-based violence, what I'll talk about is only one thing. People are frustrated. And uh, if someone is frustrated, is frustrated from mentally. Mm -hmm. We need also to candle these people. We need to pray for them. I can give you hope, and that hope can sustain even for a few days or some years to come. And this is the area for pastor. Mm -hmm. This is not the area for MP. This is not the area for parliament. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for Mutai Kagwa has been announcing all the time. Mm -hmm. And he has been doing a very good job in this real country. COVID-19 is a disaster, not in Kenya alone. Mm -hmm. COVID-19 has been really hitting the whole nations mm -hmm. and even those superpower nations. Mm -hmm. What I can just say that pastors, whatever they are, however tough it might be, also let them make effort reaching the members in a different communities. And, and also church has been really doing a good uh, work in the community. Mm -hmm. If pastor can even have something to give out, mm -hmm. because it's not that we are supposed to give out only spiritual food. Mm -hmm. If pastor you are in a position and you can also visit the family and you, are, you can manage to provide something, mm -hmm. pastor has been doing it and I'm happy about it. That's but right. that kind of limitation mm -hmm. is what I'm urging to the government. And I'm sure they are getting you know, whatever they are in a clear way. Let them do something. I have met several pastors. I have met Bishop Manfu. I have met uh, Pastor Mudagri. I have met uh, Bishop Masinde. I have met Bishop Mdeda. I have met several bishops wherever they are. And they have been talking about it. Others, I told them, I'm coming to the studio. They are crying. What should be there? At least if they can get just opportunity. I met Pazavinka from Kisum, and they are calling me. So I have come with the word to the government. Right now, there is freedom of worship. Can they come out with a strategy and also a better plan to okay. make a pastors mm -hmm. how they can reach their church members, but in a very disciplined way? Because we have to sanitize ourselves. We are here with you in the studio. Can we measure the meters that we are right now? Okay. That, that, that's very good. And they have not even tried a pastor. If uh, we can uh, measure the distance, that's one meter and a half, which is very important. But if gender violence is not going to be mentioned in the church, pastors are not going to work on it several times and pray over it and candle our church members, mm -hmm. the government of Kenya will face it in a tough way. Pastor, you have mentioned about frustrations, and I'm seeing this particular man in his house or this particular woman, they have kids in the house. These persons have frustrated, they have lost their yes. jobs. Their mental health is not okay. How is the church gonna help these particular persons now coming out? Because we have counselors and when the counselors come in, they will have to pay. But as a, past, as a pastor, I'm, your, I'm part of your congregation. How are you helping these particular persons? Maybe even on phone, or maybe if you happen just to meet them, like you have mentioned, how are you helping someone to come out of the, uh, uh, the frustrations and disappointments of this particular period of time? So now we need also to put things in order, Mr. Hillary. Mm -hmm. Why am I saying so? Do you know the government has completely forgotten about that pastors also they are living creatures in this nation? They are not concerned with the pastors. You can mention teachers, you can mention doctors, you can mention other people. But when they reach on pastors, pastors were forgotten. It's like pastors are not living creatures. Mm -hmm. And uh, the pastors are really playing a very big role in this nation. Now, you have asked me, how are we going to help this someone who is disturbed, frustrated mentally, and also physical and everything. Pastor is in a better position to do it. Now here, we are meeting a pastor who has not been mentioned even with the government, and they are not even, even the chief within the area, mm -hmm. even the, the, the head man within the community is not considering pastor. And you have seen several times, pastor is arrested together with the church members and uh, in the same cell. So now you wonder, even if you go to give an offer to your church member, you are put in one a cup or in whatever pot and frustrated to, together there. So if we, we can reach these people better, let them also give pastor a certain title, respect pastor to what they are doing. Mm -hmm. It's not that pastor, they are not doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Even this, uh, the government. Uh, are you saying you should be included in the essential service providers? Very important. Very important, Mr. Hiller. Mm -hmm. Why? 
I'm reaching, I'm the person who knows even to the last person in the community. Mm -hmm. And now if they are mentioning, they are mentioning that now they want to divide this, they want to divide that. Pastor cannot be mentioned. Pastor should be mentioned. Chief, starting from chief and PMCA, the people within the area, can they call pastor that they know? And even we have pastors' fellowships. We have um, them that we know. Bishop Kamwari is there. We have bishops that I can mention. We have Chairman Didako is there. Uh, Kisme is there. People that we know very well, they can do these things better. And even bishops in this country, Bishop Kitonga, Bishop Makarioki, okay. these are the men that we can mention in this world. And in this also nation, they have really tirelessly served God to their age time, wherever they are. Nothing is mentioned like the church. The government has not even mentioned. And that's why I've come to the studio to urge to the nation, to urge to the country, wherever they are, even the time they consider other people, mm -hmm. let them also consider pastors. Pastors can do both. Pastors can play all. Pastors can uh, pray and also pastors can provide. Mm -hmm. But still, as you ask the question, we are reaching these people. We are praying for them. We are standing in the gap. Mm -hmm. But now the question comes, mm -hmm. we are frustrated together. So now even if I come to you as my church member, mm -hmm. I'm not coming when I'm free. I have no title with the government. I have no any respect to the government. Mm -hmm. That's why I urge government from today, if they are listening to me, let them also consider men of God and women of God as vessels that are also contributing a lot to this nation. Actually, I want us to finish with what you just mentioned that you're going to give someone. Uh, maybe hope and that's where I want to come in now as we finish on this uh, we are running out of time the optimism bit yes. people have been frustrated it's true yes everyone is looking forward to a better tomorrow mm -hmm. a tomorrow that we cannot see but biblically and spiritually we are told of having hope yes. how are you now going to give this person hope even though you yourself as a pastor you are still caught up in the same uh, situation how are you going to give them these people hope we have been doing it we have been um, trying so much, even reaching them through the phone. Mm -hmm. We have been trying all by means, praying for them, because now it's only prayer. And if pastor, I have seen several pastors, even on, we have so many groups, mm -hmm. even I personally, mm -hmm. if church members come to me, I wear the situation. Mm -hmm. If I have something, I have to give out. Mm -hmm. And I can also urge it to the pastors. You see, pastors also, they have their problem. They were created to receive. Mm -hmm. Mostly pastors receive, pastors receive. Mm -hmm. COVID-19, if pastor, you are in a position, also you can give a hand of help. Mm -hmm. So we can also do our level best. Pastors, whatever you are listening to me, mm -hmm. also do what you can do. As you offer spiritual food, can you also stretch your hand? Like now the, book, the, the Bible says, go in peace and let the faith keep you. Faith without action is completely dead. Mm -hmm. As we are fighting for the churches, and I'm sure very soon government is going to consider churches. Mm -hmm. They are going to consider churches for worship, even if the measure is 15 people, and now maybe my congregation is 500. 15 people measure that church, that big hall, of 15 people mm -hmm. uh, in a 500 congregates, you see? Mm -hmm. It's a big space. If the government will consider and give us also some way to follow, the, like now, who is organized like the church? Bars are opening, so, supermarkets, those are very important things. But also they have to consider the church so that pastors can be in a better position to reach. But I can assure you, we have been reaching them, mm -hmm. we have been praying for them, and we have been comforting them. Mm -hmm. And you find some percentages in the community, mm -hmm. people a bit, they have at least, they are much disciplined. Because if we hear the news, the, 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 the reporting news comes, uh, and the medias are reporting, we come back to our people. Please sanitize yourself, wash your hand, keep distant, because that's only the way that also pastors can motivate and encourage there. And I'm telling you, Mr. Hiller, church members, they believe their pastors like nothing. <laughs> Even if president will announce something, the final person, because faith is very important, the final person also will be their pastor. And we have been really going together hand in hand with the government and we have been supporting one another or it is now our time government to remember pastors and our church members i can assure you mm -hmm. no one loves their church members like a pastor mm -hmm. it, it is inside not just pretending a pastor can be having a thousand members but still value one member i don't know it's a burden god gave them mm -hmm. and uh, you find that pastors are trying their own means preaching their church members i'm happy for hosting me today and I'm sure whatever the message I've passed, it will reach to many people. True. Yes. Yeah, and I'm hoping uh, uh, 
what you have highlighted here maybe what the churches need is the protocol uh, protocols on and the guidelines on how to have the churches back hopefully that will come back maybe it could be in the president's uh, speech but no one knows until we can hear it and we hopefully maybe things will come back to very important Pastor yes. Mangeti for coming and sharing your opinion and ideas. Thank you so much Bakun, for keeping us company. An interview is coming up next on how can we adapt to using our masks at this particular time. We have had complaints, we have had people say this, but then we need to understand a few things about them, especially in our hearing and communication. I'll be speaking to Dr. Wahome in a bit. Thank you so much for keeping us company. We take a very short Good morning.